Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome back to Armor Clash 3, where there has been a major update for this game. Over 350,000 of you have watched the other videos on this amazing game featuring aircraft carriers and even the ability to go to space and call in super weapons and all sorts of things. This game is awesome. If you love yourself, Command & Conquer Generals, then Armor Clash 3 is the game for you. Now listen to this. The developer has given me 30 different keys to give away, or darn near close to that. So if you'd like to win one, make sure you follow me on Instagram or Twitter. If you don't have one, make one and follow me right now in the links. And come say hi, as uh, I'm going to be doing a giveaway very soon on this one. The game allows you to uh, play either on air and land battles or air, land, sea battles. We're going to take a look at that today, as there's also new challenge modes that feature a Hercules aircraft carrier, TU-95 Bears, and also an AC-130 for the quote-unquote Americans. Let's get started here. If you want to see more, make sure you blow up that like button, too, and support an indie developer such as this. This game is going to be awesome. We'll be playing as Gaia Forces here. Let's just try it on easy. Easy is actually not that easy. The enemy is quite difficult and uh, very aggressive in this game, too. So, skirt, skirt, here we go. And let's see what's new in the game, including an increase of naval I'm forces. Here. All right, let's go ahead and start building all the things in our base. This is our HQ. This is kind of more the European force. The Gaia forces are a little bit more like uh, European, so uh, they'll have some Swedish names to them, some Roman and, uh, you know, like uh, historical names of European importance, I suppose. Then there's also the quote-unquote American faction, which features a little bit of American Germany for some reason. And then also uh, the rebel forces that features some more Russian stuff as well as a mixed mash of other uh, things like that. So, all right, we're going to try to get our Navy up ASAP because the, the Navy is very uh, important in this game. I'm going to try to... What, what's more important here? The, the missile thing? I'm going to build a missile thing to defend our uh, shipyard now where we're going to start producing Trident-class uh, frigates. And we're going to block the enemy with those, and then we're going to start building more destroyers. We need to capture three flags on the map, so capturing the center is definitely one of our duties as well as the ally over here to capture on the flank as well. What the hell are you doing, bro? He hasn't even started to move. Are you doing anything? All right, our ally is sleeping. The enemy's not. I'll guarantee that. All right, here's one of our Trident-class frigates. They are ready to go with a what looks to be a 30-millimeter autocannon is what it says there on the list. So that's good. Let's start building up our navy. And then in the meantime, we're going to secure some more ground areas. So let's get a factory ready to go so we can start pumping out some ground units. And if the enemy takes over uh, the waterfront, they could hit our base. So I'm going to try to build stuff a little further away from that. And one of our goals is then to go to this mercenary camp here and destroy those vehicles and capture that too. So we have to work both air, land, and sea at the same time. All right, command center. We could probably build yes. another command vehicle or whatever, but we don't need to at the moment. Let's do a uh, barracks as well. Might be a good idea to do a barracks and try to capture more territory too so we can get more uh, weapons and stuff being pumped out. All right, we have a couple ships. Oh, wow. We, oh, par okay, apparently we have four ships now. Thank you. Must be Len Lease Act or something like that. Okay, now we have access to Poseidon-class uh, destroyers, which requires a radar center first. So let's go ahead and build one of those. Put our radar center smack dab in the center of the base, right about meow. That'll be fine. And then the barracks will go up next, and we'll start garrisoning buildings and defending against the enemy, which I believe some of these buildings can be garrisoned too and defended. Let's start building some uh, javelin infantry. Very hard for the enemy to uh, destroy these units without getting very close. And the javelin is a good long-range weapon. All right, we've got ourselves five frigates ready to go. We're going to need more than that, though. Let's start building Poseidon-class destroyers. Eventually working our way up to the Hercules-class aircraft carrier. We're getting aircraft carriers, boys. That is going to be epic. We've seen them before in this game, but these are new ones. Looks like we also have the ability to build a space center and an airfield, too, which will allow us to launch uh, ground operations, uh, air-to-ground operations, like anti-ship missiles and things like that. Good. Very good. Okay, another ship has come online. Looks like we have our first destroyer ready to go. Now, even though I put the AI on easy in this game, they are definitely not easy. It's it's more like uh, medium, really. The AI is super aggressive, which is cool because it allows you to practice a little bit in quote-unquote easy mode and then start really ramping up the difficulty. All right, looks like we've blown up one of the vehicles at Mercenary Camp. We're going to blow up the other two as well as we creep closer. Enemy's Navy is out there somewhere. How's our friendlies doing? All right, back over here, it looks like the... Oh, these are the rebel forces. Okay, I thought these were like the Americans. So this is like the Russian slash rebel forces. Uh, you'll see some things that are kind of similar to a few other make and model designs. Oh, enemy sending in frigates. Okay, well, let's go ahead and do the same then. We'll have our navy meet their navy. Looks like to be the American navy. No, it's actually our the uh, carbon copy of our own navy, just the enemy forces of it. So let's go ahead and get these guys. Fire those missiles. There we go. And I... I think vehicles repair automatically, it just takes time, so long as you keep them out of battle, maybe. Can't quite rem remember how. 
All right, there we go. Our Navy's pushing in there. Glory to Raptoria. Cut them down, boys. Oh, look at those ships explode, too. Very nice stuff flying off of them. All right, we got to go capture that mercenary camp. Let's send our infantry up there to do that. And let's start building some tanks, too. Uh, we have Thor, Odin, obviously a lot of... Uh, what I would assume these are probably all French names. Very famous. Uh, Thor was a very French leader. Very famous French leader. You gotta remember he invaded uh, uh, Russia and then was uh, exiled to some sort of an island. I think it was uh, Gotland or something like that. Oh wait, no, that's that's in Sweden. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm joking. Obviously of uh, Swedish descent there, a lot of names uh, will have those, those types of names. A lot of vehicles will have Swedish names in them. Looks like the enemy's attacking again with their navy. We're going to need to get a carrier up now. Let's try to work for a carrier. We need to get, I think, a space center up in order to do that. Can't build an aircraft carrier without a space center, kids. Remember that. That's why uh, Kennedy was born, I guess. All right, space center. Let's plop that down right in the middle of our base. Maybe back here. Looks like our boys have captured a control point, and our navy is beating the hell out of them. But we will be beaten back if we don't start pumping out more units. So let's continue to make a few units here. A few more destroyers, a few more frigates should do. Bop up that uh, Raptorian Navy a little bit. Enemy's going to keep attacking us. Hopefully our friendly gets in here. And he has one ship that is now sinking. Awesome. So it looks like it's just basically me against three AIs, really. Our ally is almost against us. Oh, God. Now they're firing a nuke. Oh, that's great. Okay, it looks like they got a Scud missile launching. Okay, that's great. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, Scud okay, versus moving. Scud. Is this our own Scud here? Oh, look Look at that. We're Scudding them down. <laughs> they both just shot each other with Scud missiles. That's hilarious. All right, tanks are ready to go. Let's clear out the area. Our Navy's doing a good job of picking off the enemy units. Let's go ahead and get an aircraft carrier up. Ah, there we go. Now we can finally build the Hercules Hercules. Let's go. Zero to hero, just like that. Let's get our Navy kind of beefed up a little bit so we can see this thing in action. We're here, more importantly, to see what's new in this game today because I just, I love playing it whenever there's something new. All right, looks like another unit there caught out in the open. Friendlies must be firing from the shoreline. Oh, wait, our, our ally is under attack. Oh, no, let's go get him. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, save our, our ally over there. Let's take out this. Oh, the enemy seems to constantly be pumping out little naval units. All right, let's build our, all right, oh, here we go. Okay, we got our, Carrier coming in next. Gonna have all of our units beef up here. We're going to blockade the enemy from coming out of their naval yard. Here comes the carrier, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, weighing in at three quadrillion tons. I have no idea. Is the Hercules. It's going to be loaded with aircraft. It can defend us and attack and battle. It's going to be beautiful. Send some units there. More of our tanks are ready. Let's build it. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. And look at our space center. Even launches a rocket too. It actually, when you build it, it'll fire off there. Pretty cool. The aircraft carrier is ready for battle. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and bring that one in. Full bear against the enemy. Oh, the enemy navy is jealous. Jealousy detected. All right. We have not seen. Oh, it looks like both enemies are the same. So both enemies are, are carbon copies of us. Yes. Okay. But there are three factions in this game. So we have the rebels with us. There went the Hercules units. Where'd they go? Oh, dude! They just dunked on them, son! They're VTOL aircraft. Oh, that is amazing. They launch from the aircraft and then they dive bomb right on top and they launch VTOL-wise. That is incredible, dude! I want I want to see that blow up a base. Where is a base? All their base are going to belong to us in a second. All right, let's dunk on them. Let's get the Hercules to dunk on their, uh, their, uh, their naval yard over there. Looks like the enemy is pumping out some units to try to recapture the flag. And our Navy can support that. Let's pump out a few units just to go over there. Let's go ahead and get some uh, main battle tanks ready to go. We can even call in some bombers, such as the Valkyrie or the Tyr or the Peace Fortress. That sounds like an American invention. Let's go ahead and try... Oh, hell, let's go for another carrier. Can't, can't just have one. If you got one carrier, you got to have more than one. All right, let's see if we can hit their uh, main base now. Oh, dude, we're sinking units left and right beautiful we have not even seen all the units in the game you can see here that this kind of more like a, a um, like the uh, silver mini or whatnot for the uh, Russians that's cool we got to play as that faction as well Th that faction gets a TU-95 we're gonna see them in just a minute let's get ready to dunk on their uh, command center with our carrier let's see if they come in for the bombing run oh dude that is so sweet they come in and they just dunk right on it dude all right, now we have to do both carriers. Hold on. Both carriers, we need to do a double. 
We're going to call this the KFC Double Down. This is going to be just awesome. Okay. Well, we have uh, air, naval superiority now. That's great. Let's go ahead and get some of our ships over here. So this one is our Athena class. 155 millimeter cannon mounted on that one. Just takes a minute to fire. Looks like the enemy's navy is jealous. Go ahead and eliminate those ships, boys. Don't let them through. All right, I want both carriers off the coast of the enemy's base now that they can't produce aircraft. And we're just sinking ships left and right, dude. That is amazing. They're all sinking. They got nothing left. All right, let's stop them from producing units. Let's go destroy that naval yard there. And let's go ahead and dunk on a few things in their base. Let's dunk on that barracks. And that... There we go. Oh, yeah, you can see how they launch. Oh, dude, that is so brutal. Oh, those are such good bombers. That probably won't be good in a naval setting uh, because they can only take on one ship at a time unless they're attacking, like, a major capital ship or something like that. All right, let's roll into these guys' base. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah, so I just beat three a easy AI. Yay for me, I guess. Because the uh, ally over here is of no help whatsoever. He's just kind of... What do you think you're doing here, bud? <laughs> oh, those kind of look like... Uh, those are like T-90s or whatnot. Or, or uh, no, the other version of that. I forgot the name of that one. Oh, look at that. Sweet. He's firing, um, like, anti-ship missiles from the sides, like cruise missiles from the deck of the, the actual, like, uh, destroyer. Sweet. All right, there's the enemy's base. I want to try to dunk on him with these bombers. Let's see if we can send, like, a deep mission. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Ceasefire, boys. I don't want it to be over just yet. Don't destroy their command center just yet. We're coming in with a bombing mission. We're sending the Valkyries now. All right, here they come. Going for a deep dunk. All right, dunk on them. Oh, that that hurts. That really hurts. Oof. All right. Oh, they're trying to rebuild their navy again. No, you don't. All right, send over the carriers. we got to intimidate. Head on over here. All right, we've unlocked a ton of new stuff, including a quake. Fires a missile to the target point immediately. Uh, well, let's go ahead and do that. Can I clip where I want it? Oh, right here. All right, uh, kill this before they lay eggs, please. Oh, there you go. Oh, nice. Okay. Should we call in ability, uh, abilities like repairing units if needed? Uh, I don't think any of our units need repair, but, you know, there you go. Let's upgrade one of our carriers now. Ah, so we can give units promotion and stuff in the field. And there it is. Uh, a victory that there we go <laughs> slid out of position okay cool let's go see some of the new factions this is just a scratch of the surface we got more to do all right this time we're playing as the russian yes. quote-unquote russian forces so we should get access to like the t-95 bear and stuff so i don't know if we get a carrier or not but i'm gonna basically just try to bomb the hell out of them from here this oh, time around also i've noticed this map is like pretty much my favorite like hands down so i i have to go for this one again but we're gonna have to defend against the enemy trying to hit us with the Navy again, too. So we're going to try to go for a Naval Yard ASAP. Uh, let's see if we can go over here now. Some uh, units, I don't know if they can keep building when they're not there, but it looks like this one it can. So look at all these awesome little buildings and stuff. I really like how the command center of this one looks. Okay, scaffolding's going up. Good. What else do we have? A missile launcher at our disposal. Shipyard's next. Good. Helipad, too. All right, let's build a helipad. I want to get some choppers up then. And as soon as the... Uh, Oh, looks like we got access to stuff over here. Ah, we can select all of our navies and stuff through that. Very cool. Quick quick select. Ah, there we go. The privateer, a gunboat. Okay, we need to protect ourselves against uh, small enemy ships that may come our way, like frigates and such. Okay. So we're going to have a Legion tech available in eight minutes. We start getting uh, better stuff. So right now we're kind of like a rebel force. But as we play longer and longer, we'll get access to some better stuff that'll help us out later. And as you can see, we can get light units right away, but we got to wait for the bigger stuff. So that makes us a little more powerful on the map. But we can at least defend ourselves against trouble. Okay, here's what our little boats look like. Nice. Got ourselves some, like, uh, little STRV. Uh, what are those Swedish boats are? That's kind of how they look with the, uh, looks like some rocket launchers on there. So probably anti-aircraft and anti-ground. Uh, MBB, MI-24s, and KA-50s are at our disposal. That's cool. Uh, where's our little building unit? Where'd he go? Hello, little car? Oh, there you are, hiding behind the building. Let's go for a intelligence center now. Very smart. That's uh, the intelligence of it, I guess. Let's keep building more gunboats. We're going to need way more naval units. And we're getting a little bit of cash. Our supply center is bringing in money just very slowly. But that's all right. 
so long as we can defend done. ourselves against the naval invasion that might occur. Okay. Good. I want to keep pumping out these boats one by one. I'm going to try to get two in the slot. There we go. Okay. Intelligence center is ready. What do we get from that? Nothing. Except for more unlocked yes. units. So let's see. Uh, looks Good like we can get an airfield or a war factory next. So we get aircraft and helicopters that we can build. But we need to unlock uh, Legion technology. So we got to wait seven minutes until... Like, we're a very powerful faction, but we need to wait until we get our stuff. That's how powerful we are. So we, we're on a cooldown timer so everyone else gets a chance. Okay, let's go ahead and start harassing these units over here. We should see the enemy soon. Uh, our friendly ally over here is the American forces. So this is when we play them next uh, for their giant new AC-130. That's what we're going to go with on this one next. That's going to be awesome. Very cool. Oh, there we go. We're launching missile attacks on enemy... Apparently a, a building there. Take that building. Very light units here. No surprise that they're getting blown up. All good. There you go. Blow up that big tank. Stop that thing. Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. Enemy Navy on the way. Okay, let's pull back to our base. Fall back to base, boys. Let's keep making some ships. Okay, looks like we got rocket trucks here on standby. We'll attack them as soon as they get close. Now, what else can we build in the meantime? We're still waiting for the airfield to finish up. So we got to do stuff lightly now. Let's see here. Supply truck. I'm just going to keep building trucks. Okay, let's see if we can hit up with the pickup trucks with rocket launchers on the back. Uh, okay, we're firing into the dirt. Oh, good. We're getting more access to ships. All right, we should be able to hold them back. Get them, boys. Fire those missiles. As you can see, oh, that's what it is on the back. That little green laser coming from those ships is shooting down our missiles. So they actually have the ability to uh, basically... You know, countermeasures, missile countermeasures on board. That's cool. All right, we're holding them back. That's good. We're buying ourselves time now. Intelligence Center missile launcher. Let's build one of those. Try to defend ourselves. Oh, we have access to a, a destroyer now. Excellent. The command class. All right, I want to get a few of those up now. Two minutes until Legion Tech is available. We're almost there. We have a lot of money stored up. Looks like we can take this position now. Or well, we've already taken it. Friendlies on the other side are having a tough time. Let's see what the Americans are up to. Slash uh, Germans. Looks like they're trying to push up here. There's enemy units garrisoned inside of buildings. And there's also a camp between us here, which we can capture for additional points and whatnot, but we'll stay put for now. Okay, there goes an enemy ship. Oh boy, never mind. It's a whole fleet. Pull on back, boys. Wait until we're ready. There we go. Now we got two destroyers ready to go with anti-ship missiles on board. Enemy Navy is going to harass us for a little bit. Let's build our third one, then go back to more gunboats. Ah, there we go. Anti-ship missiles are being fired. Get them, boys. Yeah. There we go. We're putting on some hurt now. Now, we don't have the best Navy in the world, but we are going to get the best Air Force in the world in about a minute. We're about a minute away now from building the airfield, and then we can get some big old bombers on board very soon. 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 Uh-oh. Enemies attacking. There we go. Stop that tank. There we go. All right. Looks like we're ready to build the airfield. Let's get it done. I don't think a TU-95 can fit there, but it'll work. Oh, and the enemy's coming over here. Oh, look at this. We're, we're, we're having a bro down with them. They're, like, flooring it into us. Oh, man, they took our ship down, those jerks. You'd think that big ship would be able to defend itself. These little ones have really got to defend it. Oh, looks like we have a better one, the Conqueror class. Heavy, heavy bombardments with the Conqueror class. Let's build a couple of those. We'll give them a Conqueror's Bad Fur Day. All right, we are ready with the TU-95 bomber. Hell yeah. All right, it is time now to bring in some big, big pain. Finally what we've been waiting for. I think we can build two of these. Nope, one because it's so big. Holy crap. 
All right, our first target is going to be wherever we find the enemy's base. Let's hold off on that. Let's build up our navy a bit, and we're going to go peek on their base and start hitting their naval yards. We're going we're gonna to roll deep. Okay, let's go ahead and build a couple of ships first. Wait a minute, here comes the enemy navy now. We finally have a target. Let's, let's hit that first ship. There goes TU-95. You know how it is. Those things can take off on a dime. Oh, there you go. Yep, yep. He's pulling the E-brake, doing the Tokyo Drift. Beautiful. We also have access to K-50s. Get a couple of those. Oh, cool. We get them right away. Let's go support our Navy. Get them good, boys. Get them some bitches. Yeah. Hell right. Oh, yeah. Oh, whoa. All right. Wow. All right. So that's, uh, that's good. I like that. Oh, wow. And the ship is way too big. Awaiting orders. Way too big for the Commander, the dock. Look at that sir. thing. The Oodaloy and the Silver Mini, I guess. Here There's the Conqueror class. Report, sir. Oh, here, I love those Commander. things. All right, we can't have enough ships. Let's keep making more privateers. Those things are a lot better. So now the enemy is definitely not going to want us to uh, get to their naval base now that we have the TU-95. We could definitely punch right through all their stuff. There's their naval base somewhere over there. We just need to be able to get line of sight on it, so let's push. I want to make a push onto the enemy naval base. And we got helicopter support with us, too, so that's kind of like anti-ship support. Uh-oh. Where'd the TU-95 go? Oh, there you are. Can you chill for a minute? I just need a second to find the enemy base. Please target enemy ships. Okay, we need more privateers. They're more focused on enemy ground units. That's annoying. No, you bombed. I didn't need you. All right, return, return to base. Skirt, skirt. Oh, boy. Okay, the enemy's definitely got some sort of anti-aircraft. Well, the TU-95 is helping out, at least. Getting closer. Keep pushing with that navy. Oh, hell, our ships are actually quite capable. I've underestimated our navy. And so has the enemy. Keep hitting those ships. Man, our Navy's doing more uh, work on ground units than anything else. All right, we got uh, Warlord. We can build some actual, uh, like, oh, we can build a war factory now, too. Let's build some of our endgame stuff. Hell yeah. Okay, let's get that going. We also have access to Thunder and T-50s, too, which I have no idea what those are, really. But all right, let's go capture that there. Oh, also, we should send a ship to capture this flag. We are capturing it. Enemies trying to come in behind us with ships all the time. But they are getting blasted. Looks like our friendly Navy didn't do anything, and he's pinned down now. So let's go ahead and build some more Conqueror classes. These are actually quite capable ships. These are very good. And the helicopters are no joke either. Let's go for the uh, K-50s. Yeah. Looks like we can have a few of those at a time. Nice. Very powerful. All right, let's keep the enemy Navy at bay. Let's bring in that T90, TU-95 to cause some pain. Looks like we got to build another one. Last one uh, didn't get shot down. It, was, it just had an unplanned landing. There we go. All right, let's keep hitting those ships. All right, now, time for the final bombing run. Once we hit this enemy Navy ship, or uh, naval base, they can't produce ships anymore, and we've got superiority. Once we have control of the seas, we are good to go. They can keep calling out all the stuff they want. No, 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 don't worry about the naval base in the ships. All right, good, let's go to the other one. This one's going to be finished off, no problem. Here comes the TU-95. Hit that target, baby. Where you at? TU-95. Paging TU-95. Oh, wow, he's taking a long time to get there. Bring the pain, baby. Woo! Oh, get absolutely wrecked. Oh, took out the barracks, too. Skr, skr. Pulling that e-brake and coming right back home. Beautiful. Oh, enemy Navy's trying to attack. All right, let's ha hammer the hell out of the remaining enemy uh, Navy. That other ship's going to come on back. Woo! Yeah, let's go ahead and build a bunch of those ships and park off their base. No, no, you don't. Fire the missiles. 
All right, let's bring everything over to the other enemy naval yard. Smash everything in this base. They're totally not expecting us. Wonderful. All right, TU-95's coming back. Good. Looks like small enemy resistance. Ah, the Armata. That's what it is, yeah. Oh, we get vehicles right away. That's cool. We have to wait longer for them, but we get them right away. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, get smashed, son. Imagine being a sniper. <laughs> and you're getting taken down by like four anti-ship missiles. That's a bad day. Wow, the enemy's already rebuilt their uh, little naval yard, huh? Isn't that cute? All right, well, let's blow the hell out of everything here. There we go. Yep, let them have it. Finish this base off now. It'll take a little longer, but let's make sure we take out the naval yard first. We got some big ships coming. I think these command classes are probably better. We just need more guns, that's all. These two ships are ready to go, so yeah, close in on their base now. I'm here, Commander. Go ahead and move over that way. Good. Now let's get that TU-95 ready to go again. Do we have to build it again? Or wait, where's oh there it is, it's on the way back. I'm here, Commander. Okay, I want to try to hit the enemy command center this time. Roger. He just seems to be out of bombs, so will he go back and resupply and then go there? Looks like he's slowly healing, I think, in the air. Let's see his bomb load. Apparently he has light armor as well. I want to try to hit that command center this time around. Since we got him backed into the corner. Taking a little longer when you don't have aircraft carriers, but the enemy's pretty much dealt with. This base is cleaned up. Wow, the Navy just, oh my god, just decimated. All right, let's send the Navy back over here. Beautiful. And we're holding that center flag. Air support is incoming. About to hit that enemy command center. Let's get more uh, armadas. Nice. And some more uh, small APCs. Capture those positions. Good, we control points. Here comes the TU-95. Woo! Oh, I can't wait to see America. Oh my, oh, oh my, oh my God. It won, it single-handedly won the battle. All right, let's move on to America and see that uh, AC-130 in action. Same map, same plan. Let's do it. All right, boys, time for some America. We got ourselves our little excavator here. Let's get our resources out. Our Navy's not going to be as powerful, but our Air Force, I suspect, will be unstoppable. So that's going to be amazing. Let's get our shipyard up, too. With the shipyard, we'll be able to make uh, small little boats. We're going to at least try to secure our port, but I'm probably not going to attack much with it, though we do have access to a carrier. Uh, but we'll see what we can do with it. I want to try to get ground forces up right away. Let's go for a barracks. Structure complete. Excellent. Structure is completed there for our resource gathering, so that's started. Barracks are going up, good. Let's get our factory going too. We'll get immediate ground attack going. I want to try to capture our mercenary position here. Very cool. This is my favorite map. I really wish there was like more uh, maps that kind of had like a large lake, but were in different territories. The other ones are kind of a little more spread out, but this is the easiest way to see the action, that's for sure. Get some hot naval action going on at the same time. You know what I mean? All right, let's get a couple of ships built. Looks like those two are good. Let's get some ground units going. Some Metal Gear Solid should be pretty solid. Excellent. We'll go capture those as soon as possible. Now, how do we get our Air Force? We need a radar dome, so let's build that. We need a radar center. So we need 3,000 for that. Tier 2 technology. As soon as we can build that, I'm going to. Now, our ally, by the way, is an American as well, and we're against one quote-unquote Russian and one quote-unquote European, so we'll see how all that goes in just a moment or two. And it looks like he has barely even built anything. Right. That means the <laughs> the enemy's probably got a full navy already up and running. All right, let's get our ships ready to go. And we'll try to take this uh, mercenary position over there as soon as possible. I need some more ground units. And we need way more way more units to deal with this. Uh, let's go with the... Uh, uh, probably just more bazookas. There we go. Insufficient funds. Okay, that should be fine. Let's move up this way, start clearing out those enemy units. Got a couple of troops ready. Let's go up there. We'll get our infantry into the building. We'll have our MGSs try to distract the uh, enemy from firing at our ships. But still fire back. Oh, that was taken out right away. Getting inside this building will be in good shape. 
Keep pushing in, distract that tank. There we go, now we got troops on the building. Beautiful. Oh, nice, now we got a, uh, a scud. Be beautiful, very, very good. Okay, so now let's go ahead and see if we can get some more units on lock. We got our airfield ready, which means we can get our AC-130 online. Let's build our airfield, let's get some more naval units. We got access to uh, Guardian-class destroyers, so those will be good. Is that a unit for us? Yep, okay, cool. All right, we're going to defend here. It looks like the enemy might be attacking one of these positions soon. we got to act fast. America's got to kind of blitzkrieg if she's going to have any sort of advantage. Big O radar here. Look at that thing. Okay, now, in order to unlock the AC-130, we need a power plant. So let's go ahead and build that. Of course, kids, you, you know, you can't have an Air Force without an electricity uh, producer, I guess. That's the way it goes. Well-known fact. Enemy's base is out there somewhere. Oh, and they're getting a the Navy up. Looks like they're attacking uh, enemy mercenaries. Okay, we definitely need a better Navy than this. All right. Now, we can also build our aircraft carrier, too. The grand finale is I think we should build an aircraft carrier as well. But the enemy can produce two times the ships to my ships because our ally over here is probably going to end up losing his naval base. He's just attacking with ships that are armed with machine guns. We'll see how that goes in a moment. Okay. Let's see what we got over here. A couple more troops ready. Okay, let's keep building up defenses around this area. I want to pump this area full of rocket reinforcements to shoot down any enemy interventions. All right, now we got an AC-130 being built. And I have a sneaking suspicion that we might be able to use that against the enemy Navy more effectively than we could have bargained for. All right, let's on garrison this building. Oh, cool, you can tell troops to move to different positions. That's cool. Alright, enemy navy is not doing too bad against ours. Pretty tied right now. I'm sure as hell going to build more Guardian classes before we build a carrier. And the AC-130 is online. Let's go see how it does against enemy ships. They'll never suspect a thing, I guess. Oh, no. Okay. All the enemy navy has been sunk. Looks like these small little ships are good, too. Ooh, that sounded like a missile flying there. Okay, AC-130, you chill out for a minute. AC-130 is online, ready to rock. Flying uh, support. Whoa, bi giant building just getting taken out there. Enemy has a scud launcher somewhere. There it is. Go get that thing. Kill it before it lays eggs quickly. There we go. All right, let's keep our Navy here and build ourselves the Titan-class aircraft carrier. And a few more destroyers to support it. America needs its Air Force if it's going to win here. Let's continue to build ground forces. And also some ground units, too. We ha now have access to our Leopard 3. So let's get a couple of those produced. We'll start with one, maybe. We'll get two out. All right, AC-130 is online. Beautiful. Let's go capture that center flag. And let's go ahead and see if we can harass and cut off the enemy navy now. AC-130 is being brought in for a demolition mission on a enemy naval port. We got them blockaded right now. We got the Swedish navy blockaded. And there's our aircraft carrier, boys. Oh, yeah. All right, let's bring some pain on them. I want to try a one-on-one -on -one now at a high difficulty now that I've got some, some practice in this game again. It's a good good call. All right, boys, let's defend the carrier. Let's see that AC-130 work it. Yeah, work it, girl. Fire that main gun. Let them have it. Fire those Maricas. America, 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 America. Oh, yeah. Oh, get wrecked. Oh, what's that? You got a little anti-aircraft out there? Oh, isn't that cute? All right, shoot, boys. Uh, AC-130, I'd like you to target that, the thing shooting at you. Oh, we're going down. Oh, there we go. Oh, get re oh, the splash damage. Oh, it's brutal. Oh, my God. All right, go for their HQ. Oh, they're building it again. Hell no. Oh, this thing is a little dumb when it comes to targeting what I'm telling it to. But All right, let's come in with the American Navy. And take out the other enemy. We'll let this guy rebuild for a second. 
Can I just, I don't want, well, I guess I could select all the Navy. Yeah, I guess everyone can come along. All right, let's go bother the Russians for a while. I think our AC-130 got shot down, but that's fine. Oh, wow, did we just sink an enemy? That's an enemy destroyer that came over here. We just sunk, we just sunk it completely. That's hilarious, dude. Let's go into the enemy base with troops. We'll make ourselves at home with American armor. Let's pump in a little bit more uh, reinforcements. I think we should be able to get a helipad built, too. Can I build a Apache helicopters? Yeah. Let's build some Apaches. Send those over there, too. And the American Navy should be able to uh, lend a hand to the enemy. It looks like they're having trouble blowing up their own base. Let's help them out. Send out a little bit of liberty and freedom. There we go. That's right. Get rid of that universal health care. You. High price, low quality all the way. Let's go. Get them, boys. Bring the pain. Hell yeah. Woo! There we go. Blowing stuff up like crazy. What's going on? Oh, sinking ship there. I thought someone got behind us. Okay. Well, we're going to push in the enemy base now that our tanks are here. Oh, and an Apache's here, too. Oh, there they are. All right, let them have it. Yeah, just like I thought, the Javelin should be able to take down helicopters pretty easily. Actually, it was more easier than I thought. Let's get another AC-130 up. I wonder how many of these we can build. We can build a continuous stream of them. Oh, my God. Hold on a second. Hold on. Stay outside. Hold on, we can build an entire army of AC-130s? Hold on a second. Hold on. America's still running uh, naval missions on the enemy base. Damn, that is a super powerful aircraft carrier. The American aircraft carrier kind of works like that Tu-95 bear where it, it just sends in bombers, but the, uh, the um, European Havoc, or sorry, the Hercules is a super powerful one in terms of like launching attacks on uh, like a singular target. The Americans do a very good carpet bombing, a general carpet bombing, but these guys do way better at, uh, the uh, Europeans do way better at targeting everything. All right, we should, ooh, lots of enemy uh, naval units and stuff now. Plenty of stuff to target with our AC-130. Hold on, I want to try this instead. I want to play with the enemy, see how many AC-130s we can get online. Oh, this is gonna be sweet, dude. Hold on, let's, let's have them hover for a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and let the... Uh, this guy's just been defeated. I want all of our Navy to come back to base. Let's let these guys build up again. Let's play with them a little bit. Like That's what we're here to do is just to have some fun. If you could... Oh, that's our friendly. Oh, no. Friendly Navy is attacking. I want them to leave them alone. Well, I'm going to bring my Navy over here. Wow, look at this. We're drifting this one ship out of the way. <laughs> okay. I want, I want to see those AC-130s online. Oh, yes, baby. Go... Should be able to select all airplanes. We have two AC-130s online so far. I want to leave the enemy alone. Oh, leave them alone, bro. All right, let's attack with three. Three seems like way too much overkill anyway. Takes a while to build these, but definitely worth it. There it is. Third one's online. Okay, now let's go ahead and launch an aircraft attack. Go right into the center of that base and hit some targets. This is our ally here. He's attacking. Oh, he's bringing in tanks, too. You jerk. Let me have fun with them. All right, well, the American Air Force is on the way now. USAF. Three giant aircraft coming in. A gun mounted inside that aircraft. 100 and, uh, 105 millimeter, I believe. 40 millimeter and another 25 millimeter, like, Gatling can, essentially. Oh, the, oh, the pain. Oh, the pain. Oh, the freedom. Let them have it, boys. Finish them off. Victory. Awesome, dude. All right, well, if you like this game and want to see more, make sure you click, tap, blow up, and destroy that like button just like we destroyed the enemy. This is a hell of a lot of fun, this game. I like showing off whenever there's a new update. So I will see you guys next time for more. Thank you for dropping by for some more Armor Clash 3. And uh, hopefully we'll uh, turn her up to a higher difficulty now that we know how she plays again and start causing some more havoc. 
You're all wonderful. Thank you, as always, for your support. Glory to Raptoria. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Remember, do not forget to do that if you want to win one of the, like, 20 keys that the dev sent. What a nice person. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks. Take care. And goodbye.